Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Fitzgerald Hyundai in Clearwater, Florida. And guess what? We have a 2021 Veloster Turbo. But before we dive into this Veloster Turbo, let's talk a little bit about what this car represents. So Hyundai has really done a great job with taking their very, very unique three-door hatchback and creating a lineup that really has something for everybody, whether it's the standard Veloster, this Veloster Turbo or the almighty Veloster N. Now what's great about the Turbo, this one puts it at a price point directly competing with the Honda Civic Si. And that really seems to be the gold standard of this particular segment of, you know, compact performance sporty type cars. My question is, does the Veloster Turbo bring more value for your hard earned money with their setup compared to the Civic Si. Plus on top of that, remember, at the end of the day, Civic Si only comes in a manual. This Veloster Turbo you could get with a six-speed manual or a seven-speed dual clutch transmission. So let's go ahead, dive into this 2021 Veloster Turbo and see, is it that sports compact car that you should be buying with your hard-earned money? Right off the bat, the color, nice bright red, really fits the lines ultra well on this vehicle. When you come up front, the great news is you're gonna get the same awesome headlight design, just like a Veloster N. Everything black, blacked out on the interior. You got your projector beam style headlight with all your LEDs, daytime running lamps and everything. You drop down, you do have a side functional air curtain. I am gonna zonk this right here. This is a fake vent with a little silver trim. So it's gonna be a double zonk. First of all, on the turbo, there shouldn't be any chrome trim. Second of all, it's not functional, but here's the good news. If you're comparing this to a Civic Si, Civic Si also has non-functional vents up front. Now, what I do like is the way you have this lower lip spoiler that extends out and goes all the way across the bottom side. That's something you don't find on the Si. As we come across that open face grill, really like the design, gloss black. As we work our way down, you'll notice some almost like anodized aluminum orange trim to these rectangle areas but there's that front lip spoiler i was telling you about it looks good and it's also functional and these vehicles really really stand out now when we get up onto the hood if you're looking at the first gen of the veloster you would know that there were two fake hood extractors on the top of the hood i'm glad they got rid of them everything's super clean nice body lines it kind of raised center section then it goes off towards the eight pillars we come around the bend, let's see what we're working with, wheel and tire setup. Now these wheels and tires are unique to this 2021 Veloster Turbo. So you have a nice gunmetal gray, and then this machined aluminum look. It's an 18 inch wheel, 225 on the width, and you have a nice 40 series sidewall. Sits really nicely as well with the amount of space between the top of the tire inside the fender. And the great news is Veloster Turbo actually has retuned suspension over the standard Veloster. Now, as we go down the side, clean lines, no fake vents. You have that gloss black side sill extension that has a nice kick up and it has the turbo name at the back portion of it. That really matches nice with what's going on with that front splitter. And then up top, you are gonna have this nice size sunroof, which remember, that is something that you do get on a Civic Si standard, but it's a smaller sunroof. This is larger, my only Zonk. They should have blacked out the rest of the roof. You have a shark fin antenna. There's that unique third door that kind of just blends away. Love the body line in that rear fender. And then when we get to the back, it's one of my favorite rear ends when it comes to a compact car. Very, very low roof spoiler. I like the little dip in there. They did a great job on these LED uh, brake lights and the way the housing is shaped. You got the 1.6 liter turbocharged engine, the Veloster name, and then as we drop down, Yes, you do have fake vents again, but it was a great way to take the DOT required reflector and mount it in there. But my favorite part is the bright silver diffuser, a little bit of gloss black, but the exhausts are actual real tailpipes now. If you go to the first gen turbo, they were just trim rings. But if you notice, you see that? That's an actual real exhaust with twin tips that come to the back. Also, which separates this generation from the previous generation, I can't show it to you, but if I took all the body work off, you actually have a multi-link independent rear suspension, which is gonna help not only with the 
ride down the road, but also the twisty bits. Let's go ahead though, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this Veloster Turbo. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod, but the good news is it's all the way over to the passenger side. Same story on the Civic SI, those come with a prop rod as well. Th what you're looking at under the actual hood is a very tasteful engine cover. I like the way it says turbo on it because you got that 1.6 liter turbocharged inline four producing 201 horsepower, 195 pound-feet of torque. You could have it your way, just like Burger King on this Veloster Turbo. Six-speed manual, this one has the seven-speed DCT. You're looking at zero to 60 around 6.8 seconds. The car weighs a very light 2,921 pounds. Here's where you're gonna be the big winner, MPGs. 28 in the city, 34 on the highway. I like how clean underneath the hood looks. Everything is routed very nicely. Let's go ahead though. If you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's fire up this Veloster Turbo and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside this 2021 Veloster Turbo. Now, what's great is when you go Veloster Turbo, you're going to get quite a bit different trim than your standard Veloster. I know you're saying, well, Joe, if we're comparing this to a Civic Si, what's the price? The way that this one is optioned with the DCT, the seven-speed DCT, you're looking at an MSRP of $26,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Now, the good news is the door panels are all dark. So it's gonna hide a lot of smudges and dirt, easy to clean. The bad news is it's all hard plastic from top to bottom, and that's a major zonk. You do have a small pocket for a couple Taco Bell tacos and a can of Coca-Cola. You do also have the Infinity sound system, but I wish there was just a little bit more color on that door panel. Now, when you go from the door panel to the dash, I like the way they brought this nice checkered flag logo here, but everything is hard plastic. I do, though, think it's smart the way they shape the AC vents, put a little bit of silver, and then there's our 7-inch infotainment system screen. It is iPad style, but really it's located very, very low on the center portion of the dash. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, very easy to swipe back and forth. You got your driving information, clear graphics, very nicely done. I'll throw it into reverse. There's our backup camera. It's foggy because there's some dirt on the camera. That is not the camera quality. You do have your trajectory. We will get that cleaned, I promise. We work our way down, like the texture. I love that anodized aluminum orange look that they did. Start, stop button, straight up forward controls, blower fan switch, your temperature. You work your way down. You got a 12 volt USB and an aux jack and another USB and wireless charging. So look at your Civic Si. Tell me if you have all that connectivity because you don't. Close it all up. This is going to control our seven speed DCT. There's some more of that aluminum metal trim look on that orange. And then you're going to have your heated seats, different drive modes, which is great. And then also, as you work your way back, two cup holders, good old fashioned e brake. Loving the key fob. It actually says, I'll peel this back. I'm probably going to get in trouble, but just for you, it says the Hyundai, the logo there. Flip it around. There's your nice buttons. Two simple cup holders. Hard rubber made armrest, but you know what? Open it up, you could drop in at least 12, 13 Twinkies. Do a Baker's Dozen. I love Baker's Dozen, that makes me extra happy. Seats, I love. It's a mixture of this leatherette material, the cloth, the red stitching all the way down. Nice bolstering. Now it is manual control for both the passenger and the driver, but the great news is you got plenty of headroom in. Look at this. Nice size sunroof. Open that up. Really, really great, gonna let some light in. But why don't you come over to the business end, I wanna show you behind this nice wrapped steering wheel in this Veloster Turbo. All right guys, business time, behind the wheel, you have your manual controls. Now what's interesting is you do have electric bolstering, which is very nice, especially on the lower back. Massive aluminum dead pedal, brake pedal, and throttle, which is a nice touch. Steering wheel has a great thickness. I like the 10 and two notches, a little bit of that orange trim. And then the dash is straightforward and really clean. Backlit LED, tack, speedometer, and you got that 4.2 inch digital display with your different drive modes, which are great. Easy to function and go through. But while we go ahead, let's check out that third seat and really see what kind of room we have in the back of this Veloster Turbo. All right guys, back seat time in the Veloster Turbo. Now, yes, you can get your Civic Si coupe or sedan. If you have a sedan, you're going to have full four doors. 
If you go coupe, you're gonna have to squeeze, have that passenger move all the way up. What I love about the Veloster, you don't have to do that because you have three doors. So driver could be left alone. You just open up the door. We have the PDI plastic still on here, which is okay. And then we're just gonna kind of squeeze in. Remember, I'm six feet tall. Getting in is a, is a little tight, but once you're in here, it's actually not too shabby. This kind of part of the roof kind of folds down a little bit, but I actually have a pretty good amount of headroom. I kind of just need to sit low. If you sit low like this, you're fine. I got plenty of leg room, plastic on the back. So if you have younger kids, they could pick their nose and put their boogers all over the place and then you can wipe it off. It's your job because you're the parent, not me. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the cargo area and see how much space we have in this Veloster Turbo. All right guys, what makes the Veloster so great is that being a hot hatch, you just have a nice button here, lifts it up, and then look at all that usable, usable space, the versatility. You're looking at 19.9 cubic feet of space with the seats up. You fold those seats down, it jumps to 44.5 cubic feet of space. I think one of the good signs is that look at how deep the space is. That means you could put some objects that are a little bit taller. But why don't we go ahead, if you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's take this Veloster Turbo for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2021 Veloster Turbo. I have it in sport mode. Remember, you hit that drive mode selector switch right by the shifter. That goes from smart to normal to sport. That's gonna adjust the steering, throttle, all that good stuff. Right away, like I was saying, you're gonna feel the difference with the multi-link rear suspension. Let me go ahead and put it into manual shift mode. You do have paddles behind the steering wheel and it does give you a gear indicator in the upper left-hand corner of that digital display. But third gear, on throttle. Very fast shifts, very nice sound. I mean, coming from an inline four turbocharged engine, smooth power delivery and at the speed we were going, it actually built the boost very, very quickly from that 1.6 liter. Nice weight to the steering wheel. I like the leather that they use. And the seats have just the right amount of firmness, but also a comfortable sensation to them to where you could drive long distance in this Veloster Turbo. Using the paddle to downshift. Remember, we're front wheel drive, on throttle, So this is really where you have that choice. Go the seven speed DCT, whether you don't know how to drive manual or you just don't wanna drive manual, and you're gonna have a nice sporty transmission where you hit the paddles and you get fast gear engagement. Watch, watch when I downshift. Instantaneous, downshift. On throttle, it pulls power all the way to redline and Redline is about 6,500 RPM, so it pulls all the way to Redline. The only thing that just is a little troublesome is that you have a lot of hard plastic in here. And even with this low light overcast situation, there's a little bit of glare here and there, like a sheen on the, on the plastic uh, dash, which I don't know, it may bother some people, it may not. So that's up to you. You need to get behind the wheel of one of these. But pulling away from the stop side, on throttle, second gear. I'm telling you, the gearbox shifts very quickly. You got a good sound. I like the height of the armrests, even though they are hard as a rock. I like the height of the armrest. Getting to the infotainment system is easy. And then you're gonna have those extra touches, which you're not gonna have on the SI, the wireless charging and all the connectivity, even more so than what you have on the Civic Si. So it's gonna be a tough choice. I know many people would automatically just go Si. The one good thing about the Si, the really good thing is that you got the limited slip differential, which you don't have in this Veloster Turbo. So if you're looking for more spirited performance driving, especially if you're gonna do a track day or an autocross event, then Civic Si might be the automatic go-to. But if you want something where you can do an autocross, enjoy the twisty roads, but you're not going too performance oriented, 
this checks off a lot of boxes, especially if you want something that just has a little bit different, unique steering, a little unique styling. You have the oversized sunroof, which is a nice touch. And you'd be surprised. Visibility out the back, it's not as bad as you think. It's not as good as you want it, but it's not as bad as you think. The headrests are kind of on the rear seats, the thing blocking most of the view. You'd have actually a cleaner view without the headrests on there, which you could take those off, obviously. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what this Veloster Turbo is all about. Let me show you some more downshifting here on the brakes. Get back to Fitzgerald, Hyundai, and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys. It's been another great day here at Fitzgerald Honda. Definitely got to thank Rob, David, the rest of the crew, getting us access to a 2021 Veloster Turbo. You know, it's one of those things. Civic SI does have some parts, like that limited slip differential, which this vehicle does not, which makes it a better choice for performance reasons. But boy, oh boy. If you don't want to road through your own gears, that seven speed DCT is a nice option and you're definitely going to have that versatility with that hot hatch hatchback feature. But if it's compact performance cars like these, you want to keep seeing on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to Crown Vic. He's out here wearing his galoshes and his rain suit because it just got done pouring and he didn't get one drop on his actual skin. So he's very happy about that because he's allergic to water. Kind of weird. He's living in Florida. But thank you for your hard work, Victor. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.